All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Next stage. I'm gonna turn that. Final strike on Hillsbrad, huh? Yeah. So as usual, just like the other one, we gotta build oil platforms. Introduction to Orcish naval warfare, which is very much the same as human Orcish warfare. Wave riders, huh? That's what you want to call them? Very good. So build a shipyard, build fuller oil platforms. This won't be a big deal. Uh, all right, zug zug indeed. Well, we're gonna need that immediately. All right, and of course more payones. Well, we can't build more payones. So we start off with one of these guys, and they give me a they give me a gimme. They give you a gimme. Uh, for that, we need four of those, of course. I guess we can go exploring our island. It might actually be a little dangerous since that's all we got. And if they got anything better than that, we'll be in trouble. But I don't think they actually do have anything more than that, which is nice. So anyway, uh, Black Hand's uh, idea of indebting those guys to us for saving their tribe was, uh, you know, well thought out there. It worked. Because now we've got the trolls on our side, which they're the ranged units. They can hit the air, uh, they can hit from a distance, and they're, whoa, crap. But they're not that great, to be honest with you. Like, definitely a super downgrade from the first game. Because in the first game, I mean, you saw, I, I basically just used archers and a few footmen, but mostly archers, and I didn't bother with knights. If they gave me knights at the beginning, I'd use them for scouting. But uh, I didn't consider knights to be a proper part of our attack fleet or attack uh, or part of our army just because they were just highly unnecessary you know I didn't need them they didn't do much good for us um, but later on but in this game this it's not like that anymore they severely downgraded the abilities of uh, archers so archers are no longer the distance kill machines that they were before because I tell you what those archers were just uh, unstoppable in the last game. I mean, you saw it. People couldn't even reach my front lines. Uh, which is great. That was a lot of fun to just watch them come up and just watch them get just demolished by all my archers. Um, but of course, I would say that was a problem with the last game. There were a lot of cheap tactics you could use. Uh, like, just summoning daemons just over and over again. Or, or water amounts. I mean, if you had two or three conjurers or warlocks, you were king in a fight. Uh, this game doesn't give you such cheap methods. Although, I believe, and I say I believe because, let me tell you, I haven't played, haven't played a lot of uh, this game as the Orcs, and played a lot of this game anyways, and I'm really pretty crappy about using, say, uh, what, do you, what would you call them, using uh, special units. My friend and I used to call them WCW Special Forces because of the hilariousness of, uh, there was a tag team with a Firebreaker, Chip, and Todd Champion, and uh, what were they called? I can't remember what they were called, but in any case, their their place of origin was from the WCW Special Forces, which sounded pretty funny. Um, so yeah, pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm not good at using these so-called WCW Special Forces, I'm afraid. Uh, so a lot of times I just go through on straight, just like grit, you know, ground power, artillery, sometimes air power, of course, as you saw in that mission that took me damn near two hours. Lots of air power was used on that one, uh, and it was kind of lame. I did a pretty lame job there. I could have done better if I would really uh, applied myself a little bit more, but uh, we did what we did. And the Death Knights with their freaking uh, coil there really make problems but well, we won't have to deal with that except for one mission where we will totally have to deal with that uh, all right so lumber mill going up uh actually no let's build it here because guess what just like uh was it like the last game could we do that in the other game well at least in this one you can return the resource to the lumber mill which is pretty sweet we shouldn't need I'm gonna build a grunt anyway, because we got gold. Not enough gold, apparently. 
They were quite expensive. What was it, 500 or 600? It's enough to make it a pain in my rear end. And after that, we'll get to constructing uh, ships. Now, there'll be some token resistance here, but this is kind of like, not quite, but it's kind of like a gathering mission, like the first mission we did. In a lot of it, oh, 600, damn, that's a spicy meatball. Anyway, but it's, it's much like uh, the first mission that we're just gathering resources and building structures instead of, you know, building, say, four, what's his face, is four farms or building four oil platforms, very much along the same lines, you know, not a whole lot of difference there uh, between the two things, other than this is a little more you know, involved. There's a little bit, a few more steps here, a few more things you have to build to be able to build it. It doesn't ghost out the buildings in this one, so you don't really know what's available till it's available. And you gotta build these things like half out of the water, half in the water. And anyway, it's cool, it's whatever. Uh, I said I don't think we'll be challenged on the land here, maybe. I guess it's possible the enemy could try to land some troops, but I don't know if they really are gonna go for that type of thing. The archer may have been the only resistance, we'll see. Now, once we get out on the seas, there will be some resistance. And like the other game, we can upgrade. Holy crap, Amundo, that was bad. I wanna back off there, yeah, cool. I've got an idea, how about you move so he can get in on the action, very nice. Probably should just hold back now, cause uh, that could end it kinda badly, right? Probably should have brought around the ship, too, to kind of assist me in my travails there. I'm not going to bother upgrading, or I don't think I'll get another unit either. Oh, but what the thing I do need very much is a farm. Yeah, this music kind of reminds me of Mega Man 2. Not that part, but, eh, I was out. Well, we might not hear that part for quite some time. So just put a put a pin in it, as the kids are saying these days. We'll put a pin in that one for now. And when I hear it again, that loop, or that melody, that harmony, that phrase, which kind of reminds me of uh, Mega Man 2, I'll let you know. Or maybe Mega Man 3, but definitely something wily related. Yeah, these white things on my radar, the, the sheep, the doodads, the creatures, really, you know. Does it give me 25 plus 25? Ah, it gives me 25 plus more lumber. But like I said, it's been a while. I think it's been seven months since I played the first half of this. So it's been a while. I've been going through Pashtu, Dari, and Farsi. And yes, I've been watching the news about Afghanistan, and it is very, it's heartbreaking. But it's a very complex situation, and so I hate it when people discuss it in such a manner that makes it seem very simplistic as to, this guy is to blame for the problem, or that guy is to blame for the problem. That's just foolishness. Because there is all kinds of blame, the blame buffet. Blame sandwich with your blame drink. You can supersize your blame meal because that one had a thousand fathers, especially if you read any of the documents concerning what happened. There are a lot of people who uh, made some serious boo-boos. Serious boo-boos. Lack of strategy. From high to low, from here to there, from far to near, from near to far. Funny things, here they are. <laughs> Which is not actually how that goes, I know, but whatever. Alright, so we're looking pretty right now. We've got one of our oil derricks built. And we're going to need some sort of offensive whatever capability to clear the seas because... You can bet your last bottom dollar they are not going to allow us to just go in there and do as we wish. I can tell you that. So, yeah, so let's build some more darn ships. Start building a ship. Yeah, that's fine. He doesn't call him a wave rider? Probably should. You see that? Look at that damage possible differential there from 2 to 35. So you can hit real hard or you can, like, Hardly hit at all. You see these ships have a hundred, which is the same for their analog on the uh, on the human side. You know, a hundred hit points. And so when you're talking about trying to destroy a boat and you're hitting a guy by two, phew, that's gonna take uh, 
that's gonna take a while. You probably die before that happens. I'm gonna make one more ship and then I'm gonna go make a make a rear end out of myself, out of you and me, by uh, going after those humans. How are we doing on food, by the way? Or and by food I meant gold. You always get those two mixed up. Let's go ahead and see if there's any more opposition. Ah, armed resistance. Well, that sucked. Lined up poorly to fight that battle. Guess that guy didn't want to get in on the action. Okay, so just in case. Uh, that was lame, but what are you going to do? You want to? No, he doesn't. Just say, you want to get in on that? No, he don't. All right, let's go ahead and build another one. So if we're going to capture some derricks, we're going to have to get to work. And uh, so let's go for it. Now, all these oil platforms, of course, would be way too far away for, like, good usage. But uh, what are you going to do? Okay. Well, that would be fine if, indeed, our uh, whatever was whatever. And by that, I mean, you know, that was closer. If we if we built it, we could build a shipyard there. But it's not really important. Oil building... Cool. Arg. Arg. Yeah, that's pretty funny, said Arg. In a way, they make the orcs pretty cute, despite the fact that they are vicious, uh, psychopaths, bloodlusty. They really have no redeeming qualities in this game. I mean, they don't, they don't make this one gray at all. It's like, they're crazy, just like the first game. They're just crazy homicidal monsters who want to conquer because... I mean, it basically says that if they don't conquer things, they just turn on each other and fight. So. There we go. Alright, we gotta take down that. Whoa, hello. Hello, Dolly. So let's go ahead and have him wipe that out. And then you, my friend, are gonna need to go up there. Alright, we built another farm. That's excellent. That's excrement, whatever. Ah! Oh. Well, I was hoping you guys would take the hint and get to work on blowing up this oil derrick. And we could, uh, you know, taking out their shipyard would generally be what we'd want to do if we were playing like a, a full up game here and we were looking to cut their ability to cause problems for us. But we really don't need to, to be honest. It's not. The computer's not going to show any kind of serious uh, soprotivlin. Oh, jeez, moron. Soprotivlinia. You know? Alright, let's build another one of these guys here. Weird looking boats. I don't know why the hell you build it with bones instead of just, you know, build it with wood. It's to make a lot more sense. So let's just avoid this island. We could actually go and bomb the hell out of them, but uh, it's really unnecessary. And we could suffer casualties because those range units can actually hurt us. Uh, okay. I sure am. All right, let's move this guy over here. Ah, uh, oh, god dang it. Hello. I remember, I think I told you guys that you could mess with the names on here. Not the names, what they say when they die or whatever. And so I had the all the ships say glug 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 when they died. <laughs> I thought I was pretty clever, but I would imagine if anybody else would have played that, or if I would have played it at an older age, I would have found that extremely tiresome uh, fairly quickly. Alright, great job guys, doing a good job. Why don't you move the heck out of the way so my poor ship doesn't get, uh, yaffed up. I think there's probably, probably another oil splotch somewhere around here. That looks like an oil splotch, but it isn't. Excellent. Alright, let's kill these guys for having the unmitigated gall. The gall has no mitigation. No mitigation efforts have been made towards their gall. Okay, you guys... Cause yeah, they move and they yeah they basically shoot and scoot, so we can actually lay waste to this whole. This is a very tiny island, you see, and so they really don't have anything here, other than their whatever. They have like a few archers and a few farms, but they don't have a way to reproduce any of those troops. Of course, they had a fair amount of troops on the main island here, but we were able to get rid of that. We were clear out all the. Opposition from the island, all the resistance. And 
should be it. God. Well, actually, it's not important to destroy. That's it. Okay, cool. At least we'll get the score for that. Maybe we can get out of slave ranking there. I hope so. And then we'll save that. Who wants to lose all this great progress we made? Peon. I've been upgraded to Peon. Which, you know, that's a big that's a big promotion in a boy's life. When it becomes a pay-on. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.